Take me out for some hot dogs. All right, we are standing here near the border of Tennessee and Virginia. Bristol, Virginia, we're on the Virginia side. This is a town that actually goes over two states, home of Bristol Motor Speedway and the hot dog, the corner hot dog house. This is where we're at, we're reviewing hot dogs here. And we're gonna see just how they make hot dogs here. Corner dog house, Bristol, Virginia. Are these hot dogs worthy to the tank? Let's find out. Yes, I'll have a plain hot dog, nothing on it. Okay. And I'll get a hot, a hot dog with just Dixie Chili. Okay. I'll get a, um, large uh, Diet Pepsi to drink. And uh, that would be it. That would be all? Yes. Alright, so I got a hot dog plain, a hot dog with just Dixie chili, and a large diet pepsi. Yes. No ice in the chili. No, no ice in the chili. Yes. Alrighty. Down on the corner, gnawing on some hot dogs, going to see if they're good. Yes, that's right. The corner dog house. Let's see just how these hot dogs look. Nice little place here in uh, Bristol, Virginia. Now, the bun to dog ratio is a little skimpy. Now, uh, we'll see what the hot dogs are. These are grilled hot dogs. Kind of almost look like a main red snapper with this reddish tint. So let's uh, give this a try. There's no snap to it. It's not an awful dog. But I think this is a, uh, this is a solid single. Could have been a double, but it's a catcher to hit the ball. And he's a little slow. Would you like pine bark and chip? If the bun to it ratio is a little bit better, I might have given it a double. Colin! Now they have a couple of different chili dogs. They have regular chili and Dixie chili. Well, when you're in the Southland, you gotta try Dixie, chi D D Dixie chili. So let's see if this Dixie chili will have me whistling Dixie. It almost tastes like there's a mustard, a mustardy taste to this chili. And I don't have any mustard on it, so. It's a unique chili brand. Definitely, um, definitely a, a meaty chili. They said the, the Dixie chili is a little bit meatier than the regular chili. And I can see the meatiness. I'm also gonna give this a single. Could've been a little bit better. It's not terrible. It's a, it's a solid single. It's like a, a frozen rope. So it's a, it's a good place here in Bristol, Virginia. All right, Bristol, Virginia. This is a good down home hot dog place. You know, some places are hot dog havens, some places are hot dog hot spots, and some places you just gotta pick the best that's there. And this, I would say, is a solid single. It was a good place. Got a nice atmosphere, nice hot dog stand. You can sit outside, enjoy some hot dogs. 
And look at the view. The view here is, is outstanding. And uh, I like the view. So if I would, this view is something on the internet, I'd click and like this view. So you can click and like and subscribe to my channel. And you can also order the shirts. So you can be raw talking with me. And I'll be heading out all over this nation. And maybe even around the world. So leave comments down below. Tell me where I should go next. And I'll see you as I'm raw dogging on the road. Take me out for some hot dogs. Get me one that's only plain. No mustard or horror ketchup. I'll know what the dog is really about. And it's hope that this is a good one. Maybe a home run or a double. But if it sucks, it will be a strikeout and not worthy of my taste buds. <laughs> On the road again. Gee, I can't wait to get on the road again. Going to all dogging places that I've never been. And I can't wait to get on the road again. You don't have to wait for me to get on the road again. You can order this nice new shirt, raw dogging on the road. And when I'm on the road again, you better believe I'll be carrying this shirt with me. You can get it right now at the Barstool store.